Ready, set, go. All right, girls, time for me to DIY. Come on, let's go in. I think you've given me an idea. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney, let's get crafting. Grab yourself a frame for this DIY. It can be any size you want. I just happen to have this one from Dollar Tree. I decided to create kind of a fun little printable here. If you don't know, I have two golden retrievers, Gwen and Gabby, I absolutely love them. And so I thought, you know what? I was on Dine Bundles one day downloading freebies and I saw this cute little golden retriever dog and I thought, I'm gonna make a printable out of that. So I made two versions of it. That's the two I was showing you. One was just kind of simple. This one has some stars and some leaves opted to go with this one. I will link these down below along with the actual file of the dog of where I got it. Um, if you have a different breed dog, check there because there were tons of different options. You could look through them and if you want to make your own dog version. Once I got this marked off, I just trimmed it down with my Fiskars paper cutter and then I just stuck it in the frame and that's it. I've actually got a Christmas idea in mind that's going to be a little more, I don't know, bright let's say so that'll be coming in october very very soon but yeah i absolutely love how this turned out and i think my little doggies like it too want to grab one of these wooden canvases from Dollar Tree plus section and this is actually going to turn out to be a multi-seasonal year-round piece that you can do. We're making this kind of interchangeable place setting thing so just stick with me here. I decided to use brown wax to stain mine because I felt like that would be a good staple. Another good option would be just to paint the entire thing white. Uh, you could do colors if you wanted to. So many different options but I'm going to show you how you can make it stretch even further. So I used the brown wax and I let it dry a little bit and then I took a baby wipe and just wiped over it to kind of remove a little bit of the stain. Now here I have another one of these. I did set mine aside but I picked up two of these and I wanted to make sure to show you this because <laughs> I'm going to be doing a Christmas DIY with this one right here that I'm opening up and I wanted to show you because I know you guys ask hey tell us about the supplies you're going to be using it's really cute I, I think it's going to be a really cute Christmas DIY so just wanted to give you a heads up on that you also need a Dollar Tree placemat so this is where you're going to be able to make this charger multi-seasonal um, you could leave it plain but by taking the placemats you trim them down so it was like 12 and a half by nine and a quarter uh, for the inside of this wooden uh, charger. And so I just used my Fiskars paper cutter. It cut it perf the placemat perfectly. And now I've made myself a little insert that I can change, which makes it great because if you're putting plates on this and you got messy kids and what have you, you can simply take out the placemat and wipe it down. Now I will say that I did go ahead and seal this as well, just to protect the edges especially. But just in case I didn't want to put an insert, I did end up sealing it three times. So I sealed it, I sanded it with 320, sealed it, sanded it with 320, sealed it again, and then sanded it. I did use the Amy Howard sealer. That's just because that's what I had on hand and I really needed to use it up. But you could use any kind of sealer you want. And now you've got yourself a really customizable, customizable plate charger that you can use any time of the year. You want to grab some cardboard for this DIY. So grab that shipping box from Amazon or wherever you buy. This is actually a piece of cardboard from that box. Jennifer sent me. I'm getting a lot of use out of that box. You want to start by tracing three circles. And I'm just using a Bath and Body Works candle. You want it to be about, I don't know, four inch, five inch circle, something like that. And I traced it three times onto the cardboard and then I cut those circles out. From there, I grabbed a piece of orange felt and I just kind of set it on top of the circle circle and then using my fabric scissors just trimmed around it so that those pieces would fit on top of the cardboard. Now the next step I wasn't actually sure if it was going to work but lucky for me it worked out and there was
was not a disaster. I took some Mod Podge and I stuck it on the cardboard. Then I put my piece of felt on there. I let it dry for a little bit. And when I say a little bit, like I would like to say that I let it dry completely. I did not. I was very impatient. I let it dry for probably three minutes. And then I took my scissors and cut each circle into four pieces. I was afraid it wasn't going to work, but it did. And I was ecstatic to find out that it did. Now we've got our little version of some pumpkin pie pieces. So for the crust, I'm going to be taking some Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm just going to measure the edge cut. I started on the first one putting some glue on the ends to kind of hold it together, but the rest of them I realized I didn't really need to do that. And so I did on the first one burn off of the little hairs, but the rest of them, it wasn't, they weren't that noticeable. So I just hot glued the little pieces of rope to the back side of each of my pie pieces. Next up is whipped cream time. So I grabbed my bucket of pom pom balls and tried to decide which one would be the best size. Found some that worked and just kind of rubbed them a little bit to kind of fluff them up. And then again, attached them to the center of these pie pieces with hot glue. You certainly could use some spackling if you wanted to get a little more realistic look here. You could also use some white hot glue if you wanted to do that as well. And once I got that done, then it was uh, my, <laughs> so my plan, <laughs> let me tell you about my plan. My plan was to put these in a cute container and have them be like little pieces in one of those little candy dish things. And it does look cute. And so I did stuff one, um, little candy container with some Dollar Tree pumpkins and work these in there. And then I wasn't really digging it. I thought, well, maybe I should turn it into a garland, but then I decided, I could actually use these to make some really cool napkin rings. So I grabbed some wired rope or twine from Dollar Tree and I curled it around a paint bottle and then the two middle coils, I glued those together so I'd have a little bit of surface area to hot glue my pie piece to this. And I thought, okay, I made that little tray. So now I've got this cute little napkin holder that I can use. And so I thought, you know what, that's perfect. But this could also be worked into a little floral arrangement. So a lot of different ideas for this, these little pieces, but I do love how it turns out. I really do like the rope as the crust. I think it just kind of gives it that little extra special touch. Grab three of these mini palette signs from Dollar Tree and three different shades of orange paint. The first palette sign is getting painted with the color Jack-O-Lantern by DecoArt. The second one is the color Spiced Pumpkin by DecoArt. And the last mini palette sign is getting painted with Canyon Orange again by DecoArt. When the first coat of paint is dry, take the palette that you painted with the jack-o'-lantern paint and set it aside. That's kind of the one at the top left. Then with the remaining two, right now I'm working on the one that I painted with the Canyon Orange and I'm going in and highlighting with the Spiced Pumpkin and I'm just running it along the edges of the board along with the edges um, on the top and the bottom and then do the same thing for the other one. So the one that I painted with the Spiced Pumpkin, I will go in and use the Canyon Orange orange again on the edges of the pieces of wood and the tops and the bottoms as well. And then for the jack-o'-lantern one, I did end up putting a second coat on that one. Now it's time to attach some stems. That left uh, palette you see, that's the jack-o'-lantern one. That one, it, uh, we're going to do something special to that one or something different, I should say, but it is going to get a stem. So I'm going to use tumbling tower blocks for the stems. And a hack that I do is I just take a big batch of these, stain them all at once brown, and I keep them in a container because I often use these uh, while they're stained brown. So it just works out really well. I'm going to hot glue one with it horizontal. The other two will get the tumbling tower blocks hot glued to the top of the orange palette signs. 
With the stems on, I took two of these and I hot glued them together just like this. So again, one is horizontal, one is vertical. And then I took some fairy lights and I secured them to the back of these two mini palette signs just using some scotch tape. I did my base best to try to space them about and also make sure that the wires were hidden um, on the back and not visible. And once they were secured on there, I did add a bow to one of them and then just some dollar tree florals that I had. I used some hot glue and hot glue do that to the top of the other pumpkin. For that final pumpkin, this one's just turning into a little jack-o'-lantern. So I took some black felt and freehanded cutting two triangles for the eyes. And then I also cut a felt mouth for it, hot glued those on there. And then that one was finished as well. That wraps up another round of fall DIYs using Dollar Tree supplies. Let me know down below which one of these projects was your favorite. Also let me know, do you have a pet? Do you have a dog, a cat, a hamster, a gerbil? I would love to know about your pet, its name. And I forgot to mention design bundles did have some cat prints. So if you wanna make a version of the dog picture, you could definitely do it for your cat. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Here are some more videos you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.